How do you motivate your team? How do you manage poor performers? How do you lead a team to a difficult task? What is your leadership style and how it is useful? Well, so many questions are asked in a people manager's interview. And do you know why? For a simple reason, because people managers are the pillars of the organization. In fact, the success of any organization is directly linked to the quality of its people manager. And at the same time, every people manager must have two important qualities in them. Number one, interpersonal skills and second, confidence to lead a team. Well friends, my name is Arun Tukral. I am a life and a leadership coach and in this video today, I am going to talk to you about people management interview questions and answer. In fact, I would be sharing with you a lot of examples of certain questions that are being asked in the interview and also some potential answers. But at the end, I always submit that you need to customize those answers and examples based on your situations, your current scenarios and your success stories that you have. So if you are in with me, stay tuned and like and subscribe this channel for more content coming your way. And I'll take you through all the important questions that are relevant in a people manager's interview that can help you to prepare well for your next interview. So stay tuned. What to know before you enter into the people manager's interview? Well, before we really get into the detailed questions and answer, we need to first understand that how do we prepare ourselves for the people manager interview. And one of the important practice that all good people manager use is to tell stories. Yes, friends, if you are able to tell your experience, your success stories in the form of story, it can create a huge impact and can brighten your chances for selection. So let me give you an example from a real time situation. I was taking the interview for a middle management sales role. I asked the candidate one question. Tell me one thing that you are most proud of in your current role. And the interviewer responded by saying that I love achieving my sales targets. Well, I took a deeper question and I asked him that tell me something about your success as people manager. And he gave me a very elaborated answer and it went something like this. He said he had one of the colleagues in his team who was senior and also a high performer. But he had a typical habit. He had attitudinal issues. So during, your, during the sales meeting, he always used to make irrelevant and derogatory remarks to his colleagues and provide very negative feedback of the situations in the organization that normally demoralizes the whole team and also creates a very negative environment for the whole meeting. I thought about it after two instances and I made him understand that how it is impacting the team. I tried to address all his issues, but even after that, there was no response. After weeks or 10 days time, he used to come back to the same format with his attitudinal issue. In fact, a thought was running in my mind that how I can even take him out of the job. But that was very scary because he was also a very high performer and has been with the organization for a long time. Then one idea stuck my mind and I started asking him that how he can now handle those meetings and take a complete responsibility of that. Though it was risky because on one hand he had attitudinal issue, but I decided to take that risk. And once I gave him that responsibility of running the monthly meeting, I found that he understood the intent behind it and he started preparing with good practices, preparing the agenda on time and being on time before everyone in the meeting. And that started to bring a lot of turnaround and positivity, not only in his attitude, but also in the entire team. Now, when you see that a candidate is responding with such an elaborate answer, it clearly shows that he was able to handle problem. He was able to identify the problem, solve the problem and also manage a difficult employee. So if you are able to give your answers in a proper story format, it reveals a lot of facts, a lot of situations, it, a lot of reality in your answers. And this is what the interviewers are always looking for. And from your answers, they will be able to identify, do you have those competencies in you which are relevant for the role? 
from here we now go into some of the very important questions and some suggestive answers that can really help you to plan your people manager interview better now let's get into some important questions and answers one of the very popularly asked question in people management role is how do you motivate your team well we all know that motivation is a very ingredient factor for any team to be successful it also helps in higher productivity and it's the responsibility of the manager to keep the motivational level high of its team because when situations are not working in your favor when the morals are high when the situations are challenging only a motivated team can deliver the results so you can give an example something like this that i was a sales manager and in my current role i had around 6 teammates out of which one of them had recently joined 6 months back in a new market we found that he was not able to achieve his targets he was not able to meet the top important customers effectively well in my visits along with him i realized that he is an introvert now once he was i found that he was an introvert he was not able to open up properly in front of me after that i decided that one of our teammate who has been a high performer and i knew that being colleagues they would gel well and that can help a lot this particular colleague of mine who is not responding well who is not able to achieve his objectives i deputed my senior colleague to go and visit him and mentor him so that he can achieve the task it was very important for me because without his contribution as a region we would not be able to achieve our objectives and it worked really well he spent my senior colleague spent at least 2 months time with him at least 3 days in a week and basis which he was able to come out as a in flying colors in meeting not only his target but also achieving the goals of meeting top end customers and getting more business from them now when you give an example something like this it again clearly shows that as a manager what was your core role your core role was to identify the strengths of your teammates identify the areas where they are not doing well and basis those you are able to then depute your resources sometimes it can be your colleague sometimes it can be investment in the market sometimes it's your own time that you have to give additionally than just supervising your teammates Question number 2 you will see that very oftenly asked that how do you delegate responsibilities well the effectiveness of any manager is seen that how they are able to delegate their tasks to their teammates one it makes their life easy two it helps their teammates to grow from their existing role and take future responsibilities this is a time to tell the interviewer that how do you identify talents and basis which you give them the delegation of task So you can share something like this that I spend time with my teammates both on and off the work I understand what are their strengths what are their weakness and what kind of networks that they have Once I have a good clarity about their strengths and the time that they spend with each other I decide that which task to be given to whom based is the strengths that they have So for example our team was highly struggling with the submission of reports on time and due to which it was impacting the global scenario because our reports were not reaching on time and we were always pulled pulled up for this lagging i was worried about it that how do we overcome this situation and at that point of time one thing came to my mind that one of my colleague who was very systematic very disciplined and always sending reports on time in a very appropriate and accurate manner is the one whom i should approach with i spent time with him i made him understand the importance of sending the report on time from the team perspective and how he can be of great help that if he can influence and get the colleagues together to come up as a team and to my surprise he was just waiting to get an opportunity like this because prior to that no one had recognized this talent of his while when i shared my my concerns with him he was more than happy to willingly help and collate everything on team behalf and share it back on time with me within 3 weeks we saw that there was a drastic improvement in the report submission also in the quality of the report that was coming from our end and within no time within a month's time we started getting feedback from our leaders that your team has really pulled up and is able to come up to the expectation of global standards 
So if you understand this question very clearly, that how to identify the right talent within your team and then how to utilize their talent to the best of their capability is something you should be able to convey to that particular question. And that will create a huge impact in your performance as a people manager. Let's move to third question. Tell me about a decision that was difficult to make and did you consult anyone? Well, managers take decisions every day and every moment, but there are certain tough decisions that they have to make like firing an employee or promoting somebody over other or doing some budget cuts or informing the higher management about a failed project. There are numerous kind of decisions that a manager has to take in its lifetime and there are various situations when you have to really take the tough decisions. Now in this question, the interviewer is really looking forward to a recently made tough decision that was really tough on you. Now the toughness could be both in terms of integrity, your mental toughness, your decision making capability over your emotions. Well, in this situation, you can take an example of firing an employee. It can be because of ethics or because of work inefficiency. You have to really go and explain that how did you identify that how the worker was not able to come to the expectations in spite of training, counseling, coaching and various reminders given to the particular employee when he was not able to come to the expectation and you had to take the call to fire that particular employee. And followed up with that part, what kind of documentation that you did, how you took the confidence of your line manager in, and the HR manager while this process was going on and basis which finally you took the call. If you are able to convey these messages in a very systematic and in a very proper way, you would be able to convey the piece of information which the interviewer is looking forward on tough decisions. There are many other tough decisions. For example, you can also think about some tough decisions when you had to promote somebody over another colleague. This is another very tricky situation because when you have two or three people who are having a similar kind of capability, but you had to choose one person. And I'm sure you will agree that in those situations, you are not the alone decision maker. You have to take help of your senior colleagues, your bosses, as well as your HR team and basis which you give your recommendation. So talk about it that how difficult it was and how did you manage people who were not able to make it to that uh, position in spite of their best efforts how did you counsel them how did you make them comfortable and they still work with you if you are able to convey this you are really really able to convey that you have the capability of taking tough decisions and you also have the understanding of what tough decision means question number four how do you give feedback and make people accountable for well as we all know the role of the manager is to get the work done from their team and that to a high quality work. But at the same time, managing means helping your teammates to grow and learn new skills so that they can become more capable and also increase their productivity. Also, as a manager, you are responsible to conduct a lot of performance reviews and give feedbacks to your teammates so that they can improve upon and also challenge the way that they work. Now in doing so, you have to think about some relevant example when you had given some feedback to your teammate and it really worked. How you were able to ask your teammate to deliver a particular task and make them accountable for the deliverables that they are supposed to make. Think of some examples like that. So let me give you an example. If I have to answer this question, I'll put it something like this, that as a people manager, I realized that one of my teammate was not able to generate sufficient performance as per the expected norms. When I took a deep dive into his market, I realized that he was not able to convey the key points with the top level customers because he was not able to have the capability of asking open-ended questions. He always used to go and inform about the products that he has and then he used to come out saying thank you. And due to which he was not able to get a higher level of sales. In fact, his call rate to the C-level executives was also going down. When I realized this, I spent time with him in understanding the core issue and the challenge that he's facing. He says that he feels very nervous when it comes to asking questions to high-level executives in the customer account. I made him understand that 
how to design the questions. I made him practice those questions. Once he started practicing on it, his confidence got up and he was able to crack some of the accounts that he has never been able to do so in the past. Question number five, what is the most challenging thing being a manager? Well, the answer for this situation or a question could be that the most challenging thing for being a manager is also the most rewarding thing. For a simple reason, as a manager, you are not only responsible for your performance, but equally more important for the overall welfare and performance of your team. How do you manage your team? How do you develop your team? How do you ensure the accountability of each of your team member so that they can grow and develop in their role? That's the larger purpose of being a manager. Your core purpose is to ensure that you create more managers and more leaders out of your team. And that is one of the most satisfying, but at the same time, uh, one of the most challenging experience that any manager can have. Now, in this question, what you need to convey apart from what I just mentioned, you need to think about certain examples that how you were able to develop your teammates so that you found that they are now capable to lead a team. How many people have been promoted under you? How many people have been recognized under you for the excellent work that they have delivered? Talk about those high recognition reward times that your team has been able to achieve or have you been able to take your entire team together for an award function? What was the journey? How did that happen? And how challenging was it? And as well as how rewarding it became after a certain period of struggle. All these stories, the way you stitch together about your success, about your capabilities, about your experience is what going to convey that how good you are as a people manager. Well, uh, I'm sure you would have taken some interest in the questions and the answers that I've shared and the uh, way to answer those questions in the form of a story. One last step that I would like to tell you is that don't over rehearse your answer because if you over rehearse your answer, you will try to copy those answers in your mind and convey in the same format. Don't ever do that because interviewer would understand that you are answering a very rehearsed answer. So you need to be very natural in your flavor, in your connecting your own examples and own references basis the questions that has been asked to you and the relevance of the examples that you are giving. It has to be very natural in your flair. So think about those uh, situations in your past and make notes out of it so that you can use them appropriately at the time of your interview. Well, if you really like the whole content that I've shared, then do like and subscribe my channel for more reach and more content coming your way. Thanks.